In this video, we're going to explore the string length JavaScript. And basically, this is a part of a string of JavaScript. So what do you want to do with string length? With string length, the goal is to analyze how many characters a string has. And if you've seen some other videos of mine regarding to uh, array length, where we are measuring how many elements are in an array, the string length does the same, except instead of calculating how many elements, it calculates how many characters. So let's start and explore this. And this is a quite straightforward one. So before I even continue on, let me tell you something quick. If you're interested in Chart.js, check out the Chart.js course on Udemy in the description box. Click on the link and you will find a huge course about Chart.js creating all kinds of wonderful charts in Chart.js. All right, so let's start with this here, the string length, because this is a very straightforward one. So first of all, we have a constant, and this constant will be, let's say this is a word or name. And this name will be any name, which is a string, of course, because we need to have syncretation. So let's say here, let's give something else than the standard John Doe. Let's say we call it Karen Smith. All right, so we have Karen Smith, and this person, Karen, we want to analyze what is the length of Karen, or the name of this, in this case. So what we can do here is basically we say, and let's use the console.log for this, so we can show it in the console log, we can say here, name.length. Once we save this and refresh, nothing happens here, but if you open up our developer tab, you can see now here, the amount of characters. It looks like two times one, but that is not the case. It is 11 characters. Let's start and check if that's really true because we have here five, five plus one. All right, so if we have here first name, let's remove that one and save this. Refresh. Oh, now it's a zero. Why does it say zero? All right, the reason why it's a zero is because we didn't need match this here. All right, so once we refresh this, and you can see here now it gets number five. Here's a pay, atten or pay attention to this, and this is interesting because here, this is the number is highlighted blue. What does that mean? If the developer tab or the console log is highlighted number five in blue or the number in blue, it means that this is an integer or a number, which is very nice because this would mean if, for example, we have the following. Let me say here last name. And we put in here Smith. And the last name of Smith will be eventually also the length. So we say here, plus, we, we're going to call it together, last name dot length. You will see that these will be added onto each other with a total. So let's refresh. And once we do that, you can see that JavaScript understands that now we need to plus them together, which makes it 10 in total. That's exactly what we want. If this would be not a text or is if this if the length here would be a uh, string value in that case it would show here five five because it would just connect these two digits next to each other it will not count them or sum them together and this is basically how you can use the string length javascript quite useful if you need to analyze certain values so if you like videos like these about beginners for a tutorial for JavaScript, uh, subscribe to my channel. You'll find a lot more videos. And if you have questions regarding to this, put them in the comment section below, and I'll make sure I'll get back to you.